bullet is our silky rooster that we rescued a little while back. Hey mister. And he's got this chicken run all to himself at the moment. I don't want to corner him. But um, we're going away um, in a couple of weeks. But when we get back, we're going to get him some girlfriends. All right, boy, well, I'll leave you alone now. Welcome back to Daisy Poppers Farm. I'm Kaz. Apologize for doing this voiceover, but the water pump was um, going and the short noise was horrible. Yeah, but anyways, as you can see in this little shot here, we've got a cucumber beetle and on our Cape gooseberries, I'm going to show you how I'm going to try and get rid of them. So I've decided that I'm going to give companion planting a bit of a go instead of like resorting straight to sprays. So I've gone ahead and just put in a chive plant. I'm planning on putting another chive plant on the other side and I've got a society garlic that I can fit on there as well. Um, I know that I should have already mulched this um, garden bed um, but I ran out of mulch so um, hopefully by putting the mulch in it will um, deter the cucumber beetles a little bit and the chives and when the society of garlic belongs to the allium family so their strong smell may drive away the cucumber beetles and just a little bit about the cape gooseberries as you can see the picture there um, they originally came from Peru and their other name is Peruvian ground cherry or Inca berries and Fasalis, I think that's how you say it and I'm sorry if I got the pronunciation wrong but Cape gooseberries were taken from Peru by the early European settlers to Africa to the Cape of Good Hope in South Africa and that's probably how they got the name Cape gooseberries but also to maybe because they've got like the the husk forms kind of like a little bit of a cape around the fruit they're delicious in um, jams and chutneys and you can use them in savory dishes as well so I've gone ahead and I've mulched this garden bed with a sugarcane mulch and hopefully that will provide a good habitat for beneficial insects and spiders to hide in especially during the heat of the day and hopefully they will prey upon the cucumber beetles and the mulch will maybe act as a deterrent to make it harder for the cucumber beetles to go from from plant to plant well that's what I'm hoping as well so as you can see I've got the society garlic in there and oh there I've just picked off a cucumber beetle there and squished him and I'm, ho I'm also gonna just I've got like a strawberry plant in a bucket I'm just gonna like pop that on top because I found out that strawberries are also a good companion plant and I'm also probably going to um, probably start some calendula seeds because apparently calendula flowers are also a good companion plant excuse the cardboard just the side there because we're getting ready to make some more um, vegetable um, garden beds and I'm going to line um, them with cardboard to help suppress some weeds and oh, got another one and you might be wondering why I'm doing a voiceover instead of just actually um, but anyways um, the water pump was going because Scott was um, watering the garden and he was making a terrible noise anyways thanks for